What is an interesting historical fact that barely anyone knows? The German wall wasn't just a simple wall. It was a double wall, with a death strip in the middle. The strip had tank traps, mines, regular border patrols, trip wire that shoots flares for the guards to see, color coded to know how far they have come already, guard dogs, Stalin's lawn and plowed ground, to see footprints on it. The border aside from the Berlin one was also outlawed to come near in a 5 km radius around it, and had added trip wired shotguns that would shoot you, if you touch it. The border used also more than 100,000 soldiers to maintain. The Mayo Clinic tried to find a cure for AIDS, and made glow in the dark cats by accident. It wasn't by accident the green fluorescent protein, GFP, gene is one scientists often used to attach to other genes, before inserting it into other organisms, mainly bacteria or cell lines. This allows for visual confirmation that the target gene has been inserted along with the gene for GFP. Cats were chosen because they naturally have a similar immunodeficiency virus just like humans do. During WWII, American soldiers who had no middle names were given the initials NM and no middle name between their first and last names on any identification papers. This practice wasn't started until halfway through the war though. The Germans noticed this, didn't know what NMN stood for, assumed it was part of a new identification system, and started putting it beside the middle name on all fake IDs. Thus, if an American showed papers claiming he was John NMN Charles Smith, it was obvious that he was a spy. Another German mistake was training their American spies with British English. If an American soldier with an American accent asked for petrol for his jeep, it was a dead giveaway that he was German. During the Mexican-American War, Mexican generals ordered retreat in a harsh battle, but 12 soldiers aged 12 to 16 refused. One by one, they were killed in action from the American forces. The last soldier wrapped himself in a Mexican flag and threw himself off the castle wall. Los Ninas Heroes The Boy Heroes are among Mexico's most admired figures. Julius Caesar was kidnapped by pirates when he was a teenager. The whole time he was with them, he wrote and read aloud original poetry and generally acted like a total prick. When he found out how much the pirates were ransoming him off for, he was offended by how low it was. Eventually, they got so pissed off that they returned him for free, just so they wouldn't have to deal with him anymore. Finally, something I can answer. In the 1940s, a team at the Microbiological Institute at Porton Down, the United Kingdom's biological and chemical weapons research facility, tested anthrax on sheep on an island in Scotland called Grunet Island. They were planning on dropping anthrax-contaminated cattle cakes over Germany and essentially infecting the entire nation, or at least starving Germany into submission, by killing the German livestock. Something went wrong. However, and a sheep carcass or two washed up on the Scottish shore after the containment measures on Grunard failed, sparking a small anthrax outbreak that led to the killing of an entire flock of supposedly infected sheep. The island was quarantined after the scientists from Porton Down realized that the island wasn't going to be safe anytime soon. It was only fully decontaminated in the late 1980s. Spooky stuff. Napoleon intended to use St. Doming, modern day Haiti to launch an invasion of the US after selling them the Louisiana Purchase, but he massively underestimated the slave commanders as well as the climate and geography and his forces were utterly destroyed by the slave armies. Also after beating Napoleon's forces and being elected President John Jacques Dessalines rounded up all the French citizens in Haiti and massacred them. However contrary to popular belief he didn't kill all white people, and indeed there was a sizable Polish population on the island who ended up running most of the ports and merchant houses in Haiti. The 1904 Olympic men's marathon, 32 men competed, only 14 finished. Heat index had the temperature up to 135 degrees F and only one water station for the whole length, because the organizer was doing an unmentioned study on purposeful dehydration. First to arrive at the finish line was Fred Laws, who actually dropped out of the race, hitched a ride after 9 miles, got out of the car at the 19th mile, as it had broken down, and jogged the rest of the way. He got a picture taken with Teddy Roosevelt's daughter, and was about to get his gold medal, when he was found out. Thomas X was the actual winner, but was considered to have been aided in ways that were forbidden later. 
These measures include regular doses of rat poison mixed with brandy to keep him from stopping mid-run. This caused him to become delirious, and he began hallucinating after the first dose, as well as being literally carried over the finish line by his support team, his legs flailing in the air, as though he were running. William Garsha was found lying alongside the road, having breathed too much of the dust kicked up by race officials' cars, and nearly died from it. Anderin Carvajal, a Cuban postman, joined the race at the last second, after hitchhiking to St. Louis, having lost all his money in New Orleans. Since all he had were his work clothes, he cut the legs off his pants so as to have a pair of shorts to compete in. He hadn't eaten for over 40 hours and stopped to have some apples at a nearby orchard, which turned out to be rotten. He dropped out due to stomach cramps. The first two black Africans to compete in the Olympics, Lenton Ayane and Jan Michilny, were also in this race, though they were originally in street. Louis as part of a sideshow as part of an exhibition on the Boer War. Yamasani finished 12th and Tornayane finished 9th, though it's believed Tornayane would have finished earlier were it, not for a pack of aggressive dogs chasing him nearly a mile off course. One time North and South Korea almost restarted the war over a poplar tree being trimmed in the JSA. Led to this badass standoff where the South and Americans sent in a shitload of military and ended up cutting down the whole tree. Operation Paul Bunan. It wasn't just because they trimmed the tree, though. Two American soldiers were killed while doing it, which is where the hostilities started. Fun fact, the current president of South Korea was one of the soldiers involved in the operation. A Peru declared war to Germany and Japan a few months before WWII ended. They did it, only because that would allow them to be admitted as a founder member of the UN. A lot of countries did that, that is Turkey, March 45. One of the survivors of the sinking of Titanic, Violet Jessup, also survived the bombing of its sister ship Britannic and the ramming of its other sister ship Olympic. She's the only survivor of a disaster on all three Olympic-class ocean liners. She lived to be 83. She was the real unsinkable. Operation Vegetarian A British military plan in 1942 to disseminate linseed cakes infected with anthrax spores onto the fields of Germany. These cakes would have been eaten by the cattle, which would then be consumed by the civilian population, causing the deaths of millions of German citizens. Furthermore, it would have wiped out the majority of Germany's cattle, creating a massive food shortage for the rest of the population that remained uninfected. The cakes themselves were tested on Grunard Island, just off the coast of Scotland. Because of the widespread contamination from the anthrax spores, the land remained quarantined until 1990. Plus 40 years. Don't forget about how America planned to bomb Japan with bats or Germany with potato beetles. Germany was so worried about potato beetle bombs that they backquote prepared by bombing themselves with potato beetles and making their troops practice picking them up. Well, more archaeological than historical, but this is the internet and you can't stop me. The Hagia Sophia, one of the most beautiful buildings in the world, has some odd scratches inside. For hundreds of years, no one knew what they were, so they left them. It was eventually discovered that they are Futhark runes. Some Norsemen far from home, possibly a member of the Varangian Guard, left a message for us, successfully screaming it across a thousand years by carving it into the one building he knew would never be knocked down. Hafton was here. Albert Einstein was offered the role of becoming Israel's second president in 1952, but declined the offer. You have a message from the history man. Like and subscribe to have a nice day.